Ew, so imagine your life's works over 25 years of artistry gone in a second in a fire. Now imagine watching exactly how it was done, right? And that's what one artist wanted to do with KPRC two investigates after investigator Mario Diaz obtained video of a deliberate blast and fire last month near downtown. Mario picks up the story from there with that video, which you'll see only on two. The artist was horrified not only because of the artwork that was lost in this blast, but because it was only a few nights earlier that she had spent the night in her studio after putting in long hours and after watching the blast, she realized that had it been days earlier, she easily could have been killed. I still cry every day. Sorry. I mean, when that bomb went off, we lost everything in our studio. It's my life's work was in there. The feeling is indescribable for Holly Nowak. It's surreal to me how fast it just ended. Nowak finally seeing what happened when an arsonist torched the Winter Street Studios last month. He's heading to my studio. The suspect died by suicide a few days later as HPD and arson investigators were closing in on him. The department releasing this video today. The suspect, a contract worker with the studio tenant directly across from Noah. So you know exactly what you're looking at here, right? Oh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. traveled that hallway a thousand times. Oh. oh. That's Nowak reacting to the blast, captured on surveillance video, obtained by KPRC2 investigates. The arsonist scampering out seconds later, more than 70 studios damaged by fire and smoke, costing 100 artists their livelihoods, according to building officials. Because of the soot, there was so much that was damaged. The video not only captures the blast, but shows all the steps the suspect took in the days leading up to it. I never realized that there was so much forethought that went into it. The video also showed the suspect at one point putting duct tape on a door lock to ensure that he had access into the building the morning of the blast. Now, as indicated, there are still many artists who are trying to recover. Tomorrow at Winter Street Studios, there will be a fundraiser for them from 11 until 3 o'clock. In Houston, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.